Now, following on from our minor pentatonic scale and our pentatonic licks, we're going to take a look at another essential scale used in metal, and that is the natural minor scale. Now, the natural minor is used a lot by metal guitar players. Great examples can be heard on tracks by Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, as well as the mighty Metallica. It's such a powerful scale, and the way that we're going to learn it is we're going to learn it around the position of our E minor pentatonic. So this is shape number one of the natural minor scale. Now, whereas the pentatonic scale is a five note scale, the natural minor scale is a seven note scale. So what we're actually going to be doing is taking our pentatonic shape and adding just two extra notes. I think it's really good to be able to see scales sort of fitting over the top of one another don't see them as individual things. Visualize in a position of the neck, visualize the pentatonic, and then see how you just alter that scale slightly by adding a couple of extra notes. So let's just refresh our memory on the pentatonic scale. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to play in exactly the same position. We're going to have to use different fingers here. I've shown you the pentatonic just using your first and third finger. For me personally, I tend to play a finger per fret. I will use my little finger. And I think it's entirely up to you whether you adopt that when you're playing. <laughs> when you're playing the pentatonic scale. I think that's a, a choice you have to make, but some people find using their little finger a little bit hard, especially when playing some of the faster licks early on. So that's why I've opted to show the pentatonic with the first and third finger. But for the natural minor scale, we really need to use um, our fourth finger. So we're gonna be playing the 12th fret of the low E, that's our root, and then we're adding the 14th fret and then to the 15th. So visualize your pentatonic, that's 12 and 15, but we're just adding 14 to uh, add the note that turns it into the natural minor. Then onto the next string, we're gonna play 12 and 14. That's pentatonic, and then we add our little finger on the 15. So straight away, we've included those two extra notes there that make uh, the, uh, the, that turn the pentatonic into a natural minor. And the thing is, is that you're just gonna learn those in two different places uh, within the scale, in the lower register and the higher register. So we're gonna play uh, 12, 14, and 15 on the low E, 12, 14, and 15 on the A, now we're back to 12 and 14. Then we're gonna, on the D, then we're gonna drop back a position and play 11, 12 and uh, 14 on the G. And then you're gonna play 12, 13 and 15 on the B. So this is where we need the little finger. And then you're gonna play 12, 14 and 15 on the top E. Okay, let's just play through that shape. And then descend. A really cool thing to do is to maybe ascend the minor pentatonic and then descend the natural minor so that you see the two scales uh, within one area, how they fit over the top of one another. So minor pentatonic. I'm using my little finger here so that I'm in shape to come down the uh, natural minor. Another really cool thing to do is to be able to visualize the top portion of the pentatonic, this. Okay, and then see how on the B and the E string, you can add those notes. 
Now, there's a lot of mileage that you can have there when you start to get into improvising on your own and coming up with your own licks outside of what we're teaching here in these lessons. But again, that's a really powerful concept and we are going to look at a lick that uses that concept. Okay, so let's just now have a look at how you're gonna practice this scale. You're just gonna ascend and descend through the E natural minor scale. So I'm gonna play that for you now, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now it's your turn to play through our E minor, the natural minor scale. <laughs> 